made by Doc Huff, Patrick Doc Huff in Oregon. He makes a lot of really cool banjos and each one is different. Each one is unique in its own way and he really doesn't try to model any particular one after another. He just makes each banjo individually and, and when it's done, it's done. This particular one is number 125. It happens to be made of African zebra wood. Doc uses a lot of unique woods in his construction. He also has a lot of unique features on his banjos that uh, this one has several of. One is uh, this frailing platform. A lot of banjos have a frailing scoop. Doc goes one step farther by adding a platform on the side of the neck here to enlarge the frailing scoop and has some really nice carving underneath here too. A lot of his banjos have that. Does some really nice shaping on the heel here. Got a really nice volute hand stop here. Unique peg head shape reminiscent of the minstrel banjos of the mid to late 1800s. This particular banjo is very large, has a very large head. It's got a very short scale, large head. The scale length is 24 inches, which is short. Most banjos are in the 25, 26, even 27 inch range. The head is very large, so it has a very deep tone. It's also got a skin head. I believe it's a deer skin head. It's got a hole in the head, which I think is really cool. Um, I imagine that uh, not sure what that is. Might be a bullet hole. Maybe that's why the deer isn't wearing the head anymore and this banjo is. It has very deep sound, but it also has a lot of nice definition, which I like. Uh, Doc makes not only all the wood parts on these banjos, but he also does the metal work, the, most of the metal work, the tension hoop, the hooks and nuts are all aged brass that, Dodge, that Doc makes himself. I've got to put my tone enhancer in here. Oh, Doc also makes this really cool bridge, too. Can you see my face? Docsbanjos.com. If you log on to Docs Banjos, you can find out about all his cool stuff he's got out there, cool banjos, cool straps, lots, lots of great stuff, cool bridges, and you can also get his phone number and give him a call. He would love to talk to you. He or his wife, Flores, I would love to talk to you.